Coach, you relieved to break the Wellington hoodoo? Proud. I think we we talked and, and confronted, you know, the the land of Finawa that's here. We show a bit more respect to it and realised uh, that a performance, you know, like that was what it deserved. So you talked to it about it during the week, but more importantly, we showed it tonight. Just heard a very stirring hucker through the walls yeah. there. What's the emotion like in the changing rooms right now? Uh, yeah, I think, um, <clears throat> you know, there's plenty of emotion for, for Sam and uh, TJ uh, with both their milestones, I guess, and um, I guess it's only natural for how much they love this team, um, what they've put into the jersey over the uh, past 10 or so years, so um, that's what, that was uh, vibrating through the, wall, the walls. Coach, do you feel like that performance answered a few questions tonight? Which questions were they? Oh, just around the back end of the game, um, yeah. attacking, um, scored a couple of nice tries there. So. Yeah, five tries to one, you know, some great defensive efforts. Um, they started pretty well, didn't they, the Aussies? So you've got to give it to them and play some good footy, man. Uh, some opportunities got into our 22 and we defended, I think it was what, three minutes in that first half, just in our own, in our own 22. And, the goal line defence was test standard, um, and we took opportunities. You know, we put the ball down over the line, and you know, and I think we only got one pull back this time. So, uh, look, I'm really pleased in a lot of aspects. I'm just, we just had, um, look, we've had a great three or four weeks of training, but just to actually put it on the field is uh, is important for all of us, and, and really pleasing. But we got a lot more in us. Coach, was that? Um Will Jordan's best performance at fullback? Oh, I create a lot, eh? When he gets his ball in hand, he's oh, just his angle change. He's got a step. He hit a lot of players just with his with how he just moved his feet. Uh, no, I'm really pleased for Will. Uh, he owned it and took his opportunities. How did you think Bowden went at, at ten? What you know? What did you see from him in terms of I guess his willingness to engage at the line? Oh, I think when he got on the angle and he got to the line and dug in and turned a few defenders in and. Got a couple of front balls and we got a bit of front front football and he conducted himself um, really well. He's, you know, he's a class player and he showed that tonight. Does he give you a, a bit to think about in terms of you know your options of team going forward? Good, eh? How good's that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to play Bowden or DMAC? What was your call? Either right? one's good for me. Oh, good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, just a word on Wallace at TT. He's only 22 and mm. um, performance tonight. Incredible work rate. Yeah. Um, he seems made for the test footy. Yeah, he's a great kid, eh? Hey? Oh, look, man. Like, you got to need, get to know him to really understand sort of the value and he's a man of faith and believes in himself. More importantly, he's um, trusts his skill set and really humble, but he's tough. He, he, he can play. You see a future for him at six? I know he played a lot of eight for. Oh, yeah, I just think for the mix with Sam and just the way it's been in the last four or five weeks and the leadership that Sam's created it, you know, we put him to six because he can line out jump and other than the scrum he packs at six, otherwise he just plays footy and he can play on the edge in the middle. So I think those days are gone where you, um, you know, is he six or eight or seven, normally they can play all three um, or you can mix and match. Um, you know, England do it, um, a lot of teams do do it. You see, he's comfortable at six but naturally probably an eight. Question about Will Jordan. Um, he's got 35, I think, or 36 international tries now. Yeah. If he stays fit and committed, could he become, or he's, he's surely going to become the leading All Black try scorer of all time? Could he become the most try scoring person ever of all time, <laughs> anywhere? <laughs> I think it's 69 is the record. He's on track, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's got a good uh, <laughs> success rate. Uh, it's a long, long way down the track, I guess, but if he keeps right, it up, right. then yeah. He knows he's, his he's line, um, you talked about that defensive effort being really important tonight. I thought we saw some really big plays from Pasilio, obviously now playing in the front row, but has a bit of experience in the back row. What did you make of his performance coming off the bench? Oh, he's good. He's had a couple of great cameos, isn't he? He's come on and, uh, you know, look, we're just really pleased for him. And all those guys, there's a few forced changes, you know, that I kept with the injury to um, Fletcher Nolan in the warm up in Cape Town, you know, okay, here's your, here's your shot and they've taken it and they've prepared so hard. A lot of guys that haven't had opportunities all, 
or had opportunities, have worked so hard in the background and just really pleased for him because, you know, I think he was a little bit of an outsider, wouldn't he? Do you think so, Gregor? A real outsider at the start? No, oh, good, he picked him. Um, that he came in and, and he delivered, you know, like those guys that you backed them and, like, he was, he was an all-back standard tonight. Razor, when you had your deal with um, okay, the coaching battle with Joe, Joe Schmidt, world renowned coach, like, test experience, like, how did you find the tactical battle and... and Oh, look, we, oh, when they ran straight off that first kickoff, they just a real quick short ruck, bang, 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 three passes, and they bent us. Oh, here we go. We're going to play. We thought we were going to play, but um, they played, you know, <laughs> straight off the kickoff, you know, when they um, got that early try and just kept pressure on us. And we thought, you know, he's smart, been around, got a lot of plays, put us, you know, that first scrum when they went down the side, um, back down the side, we're in the 22 for a long period of time, so I thought, yeah, we've got to be on, and we, and we were, fortunately, but no, it was good, it was a good battle. Scott, um, how do you reflect, uh, sorry, I'm crazy, uh, step forward tonight, how, how do you reflect on the rugby championship as a whole, what, what will you take out of it? Uh, the championship, we could have probably won every game, there's moments in those games, we've just learned that there's moments and big momentum swings of this if, if there's ref calls or your own call or game management and these, these key moments that you've just got to get right, um, otherwise the momentum swings too much and, you know, look at one focus that we've spent a lot of time on is around our discipline uh, and that's still the area we've just got to get better at. We put too much pressure on this, off the back of it. Um, we're, we're going to address it, especially when we go north, but look, really pleased, really proud, a lot of, lot of I think the key thing, you know, young guys that have come in or, or players that have played their first two, three, four, five test matches have really stood up to test back level quickly. So I'm pleased overall. Chum, how will you approach selection for the Japan game? Uh, in regards to... Well, I just wonder whether guys who haven't had an opportunity, you've mentioned a couple of them already, will get yeah. a little bit, will you approach it in a similar way to the way you approach Fiji, for example? Yeah, there'll be an element that we have to, like, look, obviously heading north with a, with five tests, 14 test season, uh, you know, it's the large one's played, so we're going to be mindful of guys' minutes, um, also giving guys opportunities, so there'll be a big, yeah, there'll definitely be a balance in Japan, and there'll be a few different names on the on the sheet. Scott Barra, what do you what do you take away from the rugby championship? I mean, the three defeats is probably more than you would want, but do you feel like it's a group showing signs of coming together? Yeah, I guess we're <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're trending, uh, we're learning, possibly uh, not, not as quick as we'd like to, but I think um, yeah, yeah, this team's coming together, making adjustments. You know, um, when we've led in tries in the 22 um, over the past yeah over the rugby championships, it has has been frustrating. But tonight we showed <clears throat> plenty of grit there on the line. Uh, so I think we sort of set a standard there of what's required, um, particularly on defence and, you know, heading north, they'll challenge us in different areas, probably similar to South Africa, uh, home crowds, you know, momentum's huge, so um, there'll be a lot of lessons to take forward into a tour and we'll get excited by that. He was actually trying to right before half time to bring yeah. the lead and take the momentum. That's right, yeah, it, it was really important. Um, scored just before half time, made the big, big swing, and um, just, I'm just really proud of the courage we kept playing. You know, we just kept giving the ball, we kept creating those opportunities on the edge, we held our depth, they stuck and we executed. Because um, Scott Barrow, was there any, I think you just had a, an opportunity to take a penalty at that moment? Yeah. You decided, you know, because you're yeah. still good at the moment, with the lead. Why go for the try? Was that a case of you're trying to get more momentum? Yeah, I think it's just sort of sensing that moment. Uh, we had them under the pump and uh, probably in the corner, in a way, uh, using the boxing analogy, and went for the a decent blow uh, for a headshot and uh, with the mall advantage and just tried to really capitalise on uh, what we had there. So, yeah, pleased we... Um, found the wee break through one of the backs, I think, cutting back, so. <clears throat>